Yes. And I've I, and I've made I made, actually made a couple other videos replying to comments because people see, keep saying that Paul was shot with turkey shot or turkey load. He was not. He was shot with a buckshot in the chest, and he was shot with steel shot in the head. Okay. But the gun, you're exactly right. The gun that uh, that he went to get from the house to protect himself after he found them supposedly had two different types of uh, shells in it. Now, <clears throat> Buster even testified that that was his shotgun, number one. Number two, that the reason his shotgun was loaded the way it was was because when he hunts turkey, he puts a, it, I, and I, it was two different length shells. I don't remember if it was a three and a half and a three inch or a three inch and a two and three quarter. But he said that he would fire, he, he would load his gun so that if a turkey was in front of him, he could fire the shorter shell first, the lower powered shell, and if it took off running, he could shoot the second shell that has more power. That was the explanation that was given by Buster and um, what they were saying about the camouflage shotgun that, was, that he had went and got from the house, supposedly, okay? Now, <clears throat> everybody keeps saying, even in the trial, that the that the murder weapons are missing. So they, that tells me they didn't find any evidence that, that that particular shotgun was the one that was used in the crime. So I hope that helps I, I clear some stuff up. And I'm hoping some of these other people with this turkey shot stuff kind of see some of these videos because uh, you can go look it up. I, I mean, I've been watching the Expert Witnesses Live as late as yesterday. They were talking about the steel shot being shot into his head and the buckshot being shot into his chest. Thank you for your comment. I appreciate you.